following is a sponsored segment. I'm here now with Dr. Aminta Bro, the new president of Bowie State University. She assumed her role as Bowie State's 10th president July 1st and comes to the position with a diverse background in higher education leadership. So welcome to Let's Talk Live, Thank Dr. Bro. Thank you so much. We Thank are, you. We are happy to have you here today. So you've been president for nearly four months now. Yes. What most excites you about your role and why? Well, I always start with the students. Okay. I have amazing students. They're bright, they're talented, so self-confident. and and looking to do amazing things when they graduate. We also have ex outstanding faculty mm -hmm. uh, on the campus that are doing incredible research. Their teaching is uh, just a, a top-notch level. So it's really about the quality mm -hmm. of the educational experience that we afford to our students that makes me very passionate about Bowie State. So it's what you're passing down to the next generation. Definitely, definitely. So Bowie State is one of the few colleges or universities in the region that has seen record freshman enrollment yes. over the last two years. Yes. Now, how has Bowie State been able to attract so many new students? So we've been very assertive in getting the message out about the value that we bring to our students and to mm -hmm. their families. Uh, we have uh, just amazing programs, as I said. Uh, we're very strong in the cybersecurity area and the STEM areas. Okay. We have state-of-the-art facilities. We just opened up a new building, the Center for uh, Natural Science mathematics and nursing has an outstanding state-of-the-art nursing simulation lab wow. so the value of the educational experience mm -hmm. is getting out there but it's getting the word around that we have this great value uh, for the uh, students uh, coming primarily from the Maryland uh, area over 80 percent of our students are still from this area and they return back to the mm -hmm. area so hearing that the students are seeing great value in what we're what we're doing yeah what you're putting out there and who wouldn't want to work with state-of-the-art equipment oh especially gosh. a simulation because you don't always get that hands-on training it's really about the experiential learning today mm -hmm. students get a lot of learning in the classroom but what we're doing is extending the learning beyond the classroom because you think of how much time students are outside the classroom Mm -hmm. Those are also opportunities for learning environments and also including in our housing when the students are in the residence halls. Mm -hmm. There are now living learning communities where, again, the learning is extended beyond the classroom setting. And that's so important because how many times do you see the words, the gifts, the memes, the t-shirts that say, I can't adult today? See, we do need uh, that. Yes, we definitely. Really do. definitely. All right, so I know that Bowie State recently opened a state-of-the-art center for natural sciences, which you just mentioned. Um, tell me a little bit more about that because we're talking about the simulation. Mm -hmm but how does one take part in that? You register for the class, you get enrolled, how do you do that? Well, when you enroll at, at mm -hmm. Bowie State, you have the opportunity, of course, to, to choose a different major mm -hmm. according to your interests, your skills, your abilities. And we have students who are looking to go into the STEM areas. So if they want to get involved in bioinformatics and chemistry, mm -hmm. they'll have a chance to participate in incredible research under the uh, purview of our faculty who are very early on engaged students in the laboratory so that they can actually get that hands-on experience mm -hmm. working beside and alongside our, our faculty. And then uh, our students are going out into uh, doing internships. And our students often are looking to go into grad school. So again, they're working very closely with faculty in that new facility. And it's a, as I said, it's a state-of-the-art facility. It's a LEED certified building. Uh, it has amazing technology that mm -hmm. allows the students to feel that energy that we want them to feel in that learning Absolutely. environment. And that brings us to our next topic, and that's the college opportunities. Because when you're working that close with a teacher for professor and, and you're getting that hands-on experience, the doors open up. Oh, they do. They do. And, and also we partner with industry, with government uh, leaders. We, are, uh, we have on our campus a Center for Excellence for Cybersecurity, mm -hmm. and we work closely with NASA, and, and they provide internships. Uh, we have students who come in over the summer, uh, high school students that are able to come to the campus, work with our college students in robotics clinics. And so there's so much excitement that's going on, on the campus for students to avail themselves of in ways that, you know, 20 years ago just weren't available. Right. So our partnerships with industry, with government, is really uh, that value that we're talking about mm -hmm. that makes us uh, quite exceptional in terms of the delivery of education. Well, Dr. Bro, it can't be all work and no play. And it uh, just so happens that it is homecoming week yes, it for is. Bowie State. Yes, it is. So what can the alumni expect? What can the freshmen expect? A lot of excitement. So starting, um, well, we started yesterday okay. in celebrating homecoming. Our alumni are coming back in. Mm -hmm. 
Next Saturday, we are going to uh, kick mm -hmm. off uh, uh, our football game at one o'clock okay. against Lincoln University. Ooh. Our team is uh, seven <laughs> and one. It's a, we're having a championship season. Okay. Uh, but before that, I get to uh, go out in the parade that's going to uh, start fun. up in Bowie. Yeah. So we invite everyone to come out and mm -hmm. uh, participate. It's a community parade and get excited about uh, education and public education, especially for mm -hmm. Bowie. Uh, we're the first historically black uh, institution in the state of Maryland. Very excited about that legacy. But we are a public university. We have a lot of diversity going on on mm -hmm. the campus. And, uh, uh, we're just really excited to welcome in the community for I was a homecoming. Gonna, I was going to say, I have emceed several parades where the Bowie State Marching Band has been Oh, a our band is amazing. And when you talk about diversity, you know, I, we just heard about stimulation and the STEM and mm -hmm. all of this, but the music at Bowie State. Oh, that's it's a incredible. wonderful program. To that come is a out wonderful and program. To come out and see the, the band, they are yeah. just incredible. They will be in the parade and then they'll be performing uh, during the halftime ceremonies. Right. So a lot of excitement for this year and we're welcoming in uh, the entire community to come and celebrate with us and cheer on our team, the there Bulldogs. There you go, the Bulldogs, seven and one, hoping to make it eight and one. That's it. All there right, Dr. Go. Bro, thank you so much for coming in today. We thank appreciate you. it. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me yeah, today. Yes, thank you. All right, folks, stay with us. There is more of Let's Talk Live coming up right after the break. The